So Sonic Dimensions was a thing, an add-on for LEGO Dimensions where you could move around the Sonic-themed adventure world and play a Sonic-themed level pack, and they tried to recreate Sonic's movement from the 3D Sonic games. And uh, this is probably the worst feeling Sonic game I've ever played. And it's not just because Sonic moves too loose and fast. Yeah, Sonic does move very loose and recklessly in this, and he can be hard to get a grip on. But that's not really the issue. The issue is that everything is too confined for how loose and reckless he moves. So it's easy to go flying off of the level geometry, clipping off the environment, going several directions you never meant to or didn't even know were possible because the camera janks up on you or hitting something like a small rock, pebble, or flower, or even a tree that really shouldn't be placed there because this, this level doesn't really feel fit for Sonic's style of movement. And the camera doesn't either. I'm not saying making a Sonic control like this was a great idea, because I think most people would think Sonic actually controls pretty bad like this, but he can control like this and you can still have a good Sonic game, it's just that everything needs to be way further spread out. You know, the, everything's just too confined, it's just too easy to trip yourself up, and it has way less to do with skilled movement. Unless you, you know, count fighting against the game's camera as skilled movement, which I suppose you could if you really want to go that far. But keep in mind that I S-ranked Sonic 2006 for fun, and still do it for fun every now and again, because I actually like Sonic 06. And I don't think this is so hot by comparison, I actually think this is pretty bad. You can get obscene amounts of air, as you just saw, but usually the level design is not not accommodating to that. And oh, oh Jesus. In a normal in a normal Sonic game where Sonic had movement this loose and reckless, they would accommodate for it being loose and reckless by giving you more opportunities to take alternate pathways, letting you get some use out of that sick air you're getting. Or maybe just not placing the checkpoints so close together, so that way it's easy to miss them and go flying off in a direction you never meant to. Any of those things would have helped immensely. Also, the homing attack does not work uh, like anyone thinks a homing attack should work. There seems to be little to no difference in your momentum after you homing attack, and if you wanted to do a homing attack that way, that's fine. But if you're going to make you, you make uh, Sonic keep all of his momentum after doing a homing attack, I feel like, again, having more open spaces would be great for that. Because this is just too cramped. Way too cramped for the way you made Sonic move. And... I don't know, Sonic also bounces a lot. I'm not sure if you've noticed, but he just sort of bounces everywhere. And this can be especially frustrating when going downhill. Because you can't have traction if you're bouncing. You can control Sonic just fine in the air if you jump voluntarily, but if you're bouncing, that's another story entirely. Also, they used the kart racing song from Sonic Adventure 2 for these races. And I like that song, and I don't like it so much anymore because of these races. Because I've spent way too long on these races, trying to get the trying to get the gold medal in all of them and make it look presentable for a video. And I don't like that. Not because of the time sync itself, but because it felt bad that I was doing the time sync for the wrong reasons. I sunk a lot of time into S-ranking Sonic Unleashed, I think. Eggman Land. I spent two hours trying to get an S rank on Eggman Land. You know, but I don't regret that, and I didn't feel bad doing that. That was fun, because it tested my skill, it tested my reflexes. Man, I really don't like complaining about a game like this, but unfortunately there are some other not-so-great things about Sonic Dimensions, so... I mentioned it had a level pack. This is the adventure world we're running around in, but the level pack is like a traditional LEGO level, or it's supposed to be. And it has a story with a lot of cutscenes and boss battles, like a lot of cutscenes and boss battles. And oh boy, is it not good. So, whoever wrote Sonic Dimensions at Traveler's Tales, TT Games, whatever, knew Sonic was a meme. And I don't, I don't think that was good that they knew that and tried to lean into it, because... It's, it was for the worse. 
Now, you could argue a significant, uh, significant point in the LEGO games is parody. I, I guess, if you really wanted to, you could say that, but I've always known the LEGO games, the ones with actual stories, to be genuinely thoughtful and interesting. Like LEGO Batman 2, LEGO Batman 3, Marvel Super Heroes, LEGO DC Super Villains, the stories in those are interesting. They have moments of humor, and sure, they use the comics lore for additional wackiness and various gags, but it never feels mean-spirited or dumb. The writing in Sonic Dimensions just feels kind of mean, which is really weird and off-putting. So, for example, there's Omo Chow, and I know a lot of people hate Omo Chow, but he's a fairly standard tutorial character, and if Team Sonic didn't want you to hate him at least a little bit, you wouldn't have been able to throw him off of cliffs in his first appearance, but you can. You can abuse him in his first appearance, and he says funny things when you abuse him. So, you know, that's already done. You don't got to worry about that. They did that one for you, Traveler's Tales. But Traveler's Tales decided to include Amachow anyway, and their attempts at humor using Amachow are very, very boring and dumb. Amachow often gives tips for really basic, simple things on loop, which is not how Amachow works in Sonic Adventure. In Sonic Adventure, Amachow gave you tips for things you would actually need to know. And I think people should probably acknowledge that more. In Sonic Dimensions, Amachow says things like, Lava is hot, be careful not to touch it, or did you know you can run to get from one place to another, and shit like that, and that's just not funny. That's stuff I would have thought of, like, when I was ten. It's just not even remotely clever, and it misses the, the point of Amachow and his comedic value. And even if you wanted to make jokes that boring, Traveler's Tales is the last development studio that should do that, given their own tutorial prompts are unironically that dumb. And they also never leave you alone. So yeah, uh, there's also the fact that Eggman says Yosh, because that's a meme, even though that's not the same voice actor that said that, and... He just says it because people think it's funny that he said it in Sonic Adventure 2, so now... He has to say it in Sonic Dimensions. Isn't that funny that he said the meme thing? The game also thinks it's really funny that Shadow had a gun at one time. Don't you think that's hilarious that Shadow the Hedgehog had a gun? I bet you never heard that one before. So yeah, Sonic Dimensions does not feel anything like Sonic or Lego, which sucks. Especially since the Disney Infinity Spider-Man set felt like both a Disney Infinity playset and like a Spider-Man game. But, you know... I guess Traveler's Tales didn't want to do that, but I didn't want to come to Sonic Dimensions to smirk at in-jokes and memes. I wanted to come here to have fun and play as Sonic. I go into every game assuming the best, and I feel like this playset had good intentions, but wow, did that not pan out in the end.